So I just flipped on, I guess, when my daughter died. How did your daughter die? Leukemia. How old was she? Seven. Dutch Gaines, a Vietnam veteran, could withstand combat, but not the death of his seven-year-old daughter. He withdrew, living in a tent hidden in woods behind a Charlotte shopping center. And here it is. With few possessions and little interaction with other people, Dutch lived a hermit's existence, eating in soup kitchens and warming up in fast food restaurants. People who have extreme trauma in their lives can spiral down without support around them, without family, without the ability to access the kind of support they need. Sometimes they end up in a tent for five years. When they told me she was okay, I thought she was okay. I thought it was gonna fall in place. So then I'll just take her home and have a smile like she normally does. She didn't. She didn't even come home. <laughs> Matter of fact, from the hospital to the mortician to the graveyard. So, I've been down here ever since. What McCreesh does is just reach down and give them a hand up. Just give them that support that they need to do the kinds of things that we all want to do. To be in community, to be productive members of society. That McCreesh formula of community, support services, and a drug and alcohol free environment is successful. Three fourths of the men here, like Dutch, manage to get their lives on track, working or involved in their community as volunteers literally saving local taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars in hospital, police, and emergency services, and also saving lives. <laughs>